Hi, this is a six-part series learning how to visualize data in Postman. Welcome! In this video, we're going to review the basics of scripting in Postman. Let's head over to Postman. You should be using the Postman app for Mac, Windows, or Linux. For this series, I'm on Postman for Mac OS X version 7. Make sure you have a Postman account and you're logged in. For this tutorial series, we're going to import an example template called How to Visualize Data in Postman. Go to the orange New button in the top left, tab over to Templates, and look for How to Visualize Data in Postman. Then click the Run in Postman button to import. We'll be going through each request in the Get Started folder here on the left. If you don't feel like watching these videos, everything that you need is right here in Postman. All right, let's get started with step one, understanding how scripts work in Postman. Under the pre-request script and tests tabs, you can add JavaScript before the request is sent and after the response is received. Postman will run this code in the Postman sandbox environment. This code that runs before or after your request is called a script in Postman. Pre-request scripts run before the request is sent and test scripts run after the response is received. Open the Postman console using this icon in the bottom left. In the main window, let's send this request. Back in the console, we can see the execution order of our main network request and also the pre-request and test script that runs before and after. You can drill down into a specific network request and log statements here to this console. This is gonna help us when we're debugging later so we can make sure we're sending and receiving what we think we're after. And that's it. We talked about pre-request scripts running before your main request and test scripts running after. We also took a look at the console that we'll use later on for more visibility when we're debugging. It's pretty easy so far. Check out the next video where we add a visualizer.